To check divisibility by 8, the last three digits should be divisible by 8. A lot of articles wherein I was just finding for an easier way to do this because if you are going to divide three digits by eight manually, it will take you some time. So since I haven't found a shortcut for this method, I have composed my own and original method. This is my method of testing the divisibility by eight. The first condition to test divisibility by eight is it should be an even number. Let's have our first example. 8,371 is an odd number, which means that it is not divisible by 8. Now for our next example, we will be needing again our table of 4 or the multiples of 4 as our side note. And then our example is 1,794. Now our test says that the last 3 digits should be divisible by 8. And the last three digits are 794. Check if it is odd or even. It is even. Now we can proceed with the tests. I am going to offer you two methods for this. By the way, both methods will still give you the same answer. It is either a yes, it is divisible, or a no, it is not divisible. For our first method, Let's have 794 since we are talking about the last three digits. Then we will have again magic numbers 200, 400, 600, and 800. Now I will tell you that these four numbers are exactly divisible by 8. Now again, we choose which is the largest number that we can subtract from 794 and that is 600. 794 less 600 because 600 is divisible by 8. The answer is 194. Now we take the last digit 4 and divide it by 2. The answer is 2. And then we add it to 90. The answer is 21. We check if 21 is divisible by 4. 21 is not divisible by 4, which means that 1,794 is not divisible by 4. Let's see our second method. For our second method, again, we take the last three digits and then we check our magic numbers. It's still 600. 794 less 600 is equal to 194 because we know that 600 is divisible by 8. Next, you think of a number that is divisible by 8. Hmm, maybe you will think first of 8, 16, 24, but you should think of 8 multiplied by 10. It gives 80. I advise that you use either 80 or 160. You can also use 160 because 80 multiplied by 2 is 160. 194 less 160 is 34. And we know that 34 is not divisible by 4. Now don't worry if you subtracted 80 from 194. And then again you subtracted another 80 from 194. Because it will still give you the same answer that is 34. And 34 is not divisible by 8. Which means that 1794 is not divisible by 8. Let's have another example that is 9816. First, we check if it is an even number. And yes, it is an even number. Let's take the last three digits. That is 816. And then check the magic numbers, which fits. That is 800. 816 less 800 gives us 16. And we know that 16 is divisible by 8. But if you still want to proceed and check our first method, we just divide 6 by 2. It gives us 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 4 is divisible by 4. Which means that 9816 is divisible by 8. Let's have another example. We have 2544. First, we check if the number is odd or even. 
and it is an even number. Now we can proceed to either of the two methods of testing divisibility by 8, but I will still show you the two methods. Our first method, we take 544 and then we check the magic numbers. 200, 400, 600, and 800, which is the largest that we can subtract from 544. And it is 400. The answer is 144. Next, we take the last digit, 4, and then divide it by 2. The answer is 2, and add it to 14. The answer is 16. We know that 16 is divisible by 8. Our second method, we take 544 and then we subtract again 400 from 544. The answer is 144. Now again, you think of a multiple of 8 that you can subtract from 144. I thought of 80, so the answer is 64. And 64 is divisible by 8, which means that 2,544 is divisible by 8.